flower essences are a type of vibrational healing. The vibrational healing systems, whether it's acupuncture, Reiki, or flower essences, work by clearing and aligning the body's energy systems, meaning your chakras, your meridians, your nadis. They correct imbalances by resolving the root causes through releasing and balancing effects. So people make the mistake sometimes of when they're having a release that this thing made it worse or this thing that isn't working when actually you're really releasing a lot of toxins and things that you need to do and it's called a detox. But they'll freak out and they'll go, you know, this is, I'm having a reaction to it, I'm allergic to it or whatever. And the, the flower essences are so subtle that you're not going to get sick from them. But you can go through these subtle detoxes because you're releasing in order, in order to work your way towards balance, you have to go through your imbalance. And, and that's a, a tricky thing. So I'll tell you a little bit about the essences, their uses, and then what, they, what I have to, to offer through them. Um, the uses are that they clear and strengthen and balance the chakras, organs, and energy systems. They calm and soothe the heart, the mind, the spirit, and the soul during times of stress and tension. They restore vital forces compromised by trauma, injury, illness, or sustained challenges in life. Ease depression, fears, lethargy, indecisiveness, or insecurities. And they help us to clarify our self-identity, deepen our self-awareness, and then strengthen our true nature. So again, you're committing to a process over time, and you're probably going to be doing other work at the same time, either going to therapy or journaling or having periods of introspection or meditating or whatever your own personal practice is. But between the two, things begin to shift. You don't have to stay locked in the old, in the old narrative or in the old patterns where we're stuck. So it starts all over again. It's like you shift and you reach for balance and you shift and you reach for balance. And most people are so uncomfortable with being out of balance that they won't let themselves go to the next level because they know they're going to go through a period of um, being out of balance. But that's the process of change and transformation is you have to go out of balance. And knowing it's a moment in time and it's not going to last forever. And that you're no longer that person you were in a certain way. And it just takes a while to, to get there. But they help support it because you're aligning with that matrix of the flower essence. It's literally holding your energy field out to this other possibility. And it's not that you're taking it in as something that's separate from you. It's reminding you of who you really are in that way. And you were wired for whatever the healing was anyways. But we've forgotten because of life circumstance, because of stress. So it's like it reawakens the memory in you of what it felt like before you contracted in that way. And then it holds you out there as it's possible to still hold this vibration. It's still possible to hold this vibration when you're going, no, you know, all these things have happened. It's so horrible. And it doesn't have to be that way. So you bring yourself into entrainment, into resonance with the subtle body. So each droplet acts as a sort of divine tuning fork in that it brings our energy field into resonance with it and the harmonizing effects of vibrational essence serve to dissolve the energetic consequences of our accumulated life stress.